So it looks something like this. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna open this box. I need the tools to open it up. Ah, nice little blade here. We're gonna open this up. Un unboxing N-E-J-E -E laser engraver. A lot of tape. During shipping. Oh, here we go. I need the blade again. Oh, safety glasses. There it is. Pretty good. Wow, nicely wrapped. There it is. N E J E. Okay. Okay, and there is more tape. Just make sure you don't cut any wire, all right? It came with all these cables for charging, I guess, and for um, powering up the device. There we go. There's a plug. Two mini USB cable, one and two, and then there is a uh, AC adapter for charging. To look at the, the manual to see. Well, it comes with a um, micro SD card, manual. Uh, manual not really well done, it's just a print with a poor quality uh, laser printer. Look, you see that? Wow, they really uh, <laughs> didn't spend a lot of money on that. Well, at least I give you a manual, right? A little sheet of paper. And other than that, that's it. Safety, goggles, and an Allen key. And that's it. So let's have a look at this Niji laser engraver. This is N-E-J-E. -E. It's a 500 uh, Pro series. It's pretty small, I mean compact anyway. It's the size of my uh, hand here. You can see, I spread my fingers out. You can see it's about 15 centimeters. Okay, very portable. As you can see here, I already engraved my wind domino that I made with my son onto this. You see, there it is. You can see that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, I'll show you how it engraved into the wood. Okay, we basically put it on top of that and it'll, it scans through and engraved into this wood. I'll show you uh, an attached video of how it's done. All right, but let's look review quickly uh, regarding this engraver laser engraver. You can see there's two uh, port. The instruction that comes with this uh, device is very poorly done so this is why I made this video. So what it is is uh, you have two port. The first port has a USB connection. It is supposed to be connected to a power supply so it comes with this uh, AC adapter here. This is a 220 watt, uh, 120 volt sorry, uh, adapter and you connect that to your uh, outlet. Okay, it's actually a USB connect to a uh, AC adapter. Okay, so you do that first, and then this part here, the bottom um, USB, mini USB, is connected to your computer. So you hook that up to your computer. Now it comes with a um, one gig micro SD. Do not throw that away. It actually contains the um, 
a small instruction which is not very useful, but it contains the driver and the uh, application, okay, the software application itself. The first thing you want to do is to install the uh, driver first. Once you install that, then you click on the application. I'll show you the video attached and how to do that. It's very easy. And then once you do that, the application is open up and it's very straightforward. Drag and drop images into the um, the uh, the um, platform, and then uh, it will scan and print that. Okay, and make sure that the image is black and white and it's in line form. It's not any um, fancy. I guess you could do fancy stuff, but it'll take longer. But the simpler uh, the image is, like outline of an image and all that stuff, just maybe a line image would be the best. Okay, so that's how you do that. And I'll show you how it's done. I'll show how it's actually um, engraved into this uh, image onto the wood. You basically put a wood in there and you secure. I put a band. Uh, they come with a, um, if you can see here, with a um, elastic band and you just put it on top of that like this and make sure it's sturdy. And then this thing, this uh, platform at the bottom here, moves back and forth on the y axis and the top will move um, uh, left and right the x-axis so y and x-axis moving and then you get this burning of the wood I have tried with other um, uh, media uh, form and uh, it seems to work quite well let me show you show you two things okay so what I did was I did yeah this comes with a paper you can you know for sure it works with paper no problem right but the other thing that a lot of people don't show it actually works with your, yeah, with the CDs and DVDs. So on the un, uh, the, the side that is both where the uh, laser DVD laser burns, that's where you want to use. And when you burn it, I see how I cut a piece of that, and you can see this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that. There's a see this is an image, sh pretty shiny, and if you look at carefully, you'll see there's an image on the laser. Pretty cool. You can make a necklace uh, pendant. See that? Or you can make a bracelet pendant like along like that. Pretty cool uh, you know hobbies to do. You just personalize, you draw a picture out and then you scan it into a black and white um, or you can just uh, stit, uh, stencil it, whatever you want to do and then you scan it on your computer and then, then that becomes a permanent image and you can burn into any type of, uh, like say this uh, DVD. So don't throw any of your uh, useless DVDs that you don't want. You can actually cut it and make it in any shape you want. Like for example, this is a random cut and I can make it and draw, drill a little hole. I can make a little uh, pendant for myself. Pretty cool. Yeah. Now let me show you now uh, the device and how it's actually scanning through uh, and how it works. And I'll show you the software itself. There it is, not bad. Okay, so this micro SD that came with it is one gig. Don't throw that away. It contains the um, driver and the app, uh, apps or the application software in it. Uh, it's a very small file, so you might miss it, okay, So if you don't look for it anyway. And there's uh, some samples uh, pick file in there, so it's good to have, okay. So what the first thing is, you need to install this into your uh, desktop. So you will need a uh, standard SD um, adapter to convert this micro SD into a standard SD adapt, uh, connector or adapter, what you would call it. Okay, and then you put this at the back of your computer like that, and then it will load up. There we go. So it's thinking is an image file, but that's reason. The reason for that is because it has a, um, images in this uh, SD card. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the card itself, and you can see that there is a um, folder. I know you can see that. Okay, 
there is a folder and then it has the pics with all the image in there and then the driver the laser carver uh, app and then the user guide the user guide is useless really you can't really i don't even know what you need it for there they just have a link to the web uh, website and maybe you can download the uh, update your driver i don't know but here it is you need these two uh, file the driver you just have to install it so you right click and then you just run as administrator and it will um, install that for you okay so i that, did that on my system you need windows 7 and windows 8 to do that so click on the driver here this one here and then this is an application okay uh, but you have to hook up your laser engraver first okay so hook this up okay so, so from the back here you want to plug it in for the power so here we go we're going to plug this in okay and then we are going to take this part here this bottom USB and connect it to the computer. Do that right now. So the USB slot on your computer. And there we go. You can, you can hear sound. And the machine is turned on. You can hear that. Both of them are on. Then once you install the driver and you connect the um, the computer to um, your laser engraver. You can now, and of course you install the driver as well. And now you can just click on the app, the software, and this is what shows up, okay? Very simple software. Uh, let me just turn this, close this down, there we go. I'll put it in the center here, maybe you can see. And then what you do is um, just go file, find a file that has image. So there it is, I have an image here. I'm going to put this on the side, put this here. Okay, and I can drop any image I want. I'm going to try to pick one I did recently. Where is it? Two. There we go. Drop there. And that's the image. I thought I used another one. I don't remember. I okay, can clear that as well. Drop 34. Okay, let's try the airplane. I don't know. Airplane. And then once you do that, you just click up on top. Send image to the machine. You click on that and it will send the image to the machine and then you're ready to uh, print, okay? How you print is that there is a yellow button here. So once you load the image into this uh, engraver, then you press this uh, button. You press once, it will you know, scan the area, you know, the size in which it's gonna print on. So it will draw this uh, uh, rectangle shape, laser back and forth, back and forth like this, to show you the size of it's gonna print on. And then when you press it again, uh, double click I, I would say, Okay, and then it will actually then burn into your, uh, into your uh, whatever uh, media you're using, whether it's wood, <coughs> leather, paper, whatever. Okay, I even burn it on my uh, DVD or CDs, so it work as well. Okay, that's how you do it. And uh, let me show you, let me see if I can <coughs> burn one right now. So make sure you secure it tight with a uh, elastic band. Oops. And then you send, you click here, send the image to machine, and it's send. Okay. And it's low, it's taking time. There we go, you can hear the machine. Okay, so you can see uh, the image is already sent to the uh, laser engraver. All I have to do is now press this button here. It will tell me how far you can go. Okay, it seems like the image is a little bit too big. That's a problem. You see, I, I can see that the laser is going to print over it. So you might want to choose another image. Let me see if I can find another image here. So restart. There we go. Press restart and it will stop. Okay, so this image is too big. Let's see if we can find a smaller one. There we go. Let's clear it first. I'm going to send an image to 
the laser. Okay, slightly off center. We're gonna have to again. Okay, this is right. See, it, the laser is now showing you where the image, uh, the laser will uh, burn. So it give you an estimation, which is really good. You know, exact location. Actually, not even estimation where it's gonna start and stop. Okay, once you're ready, press again. Here we go. Okay, and it's burning right now. Okay, I'm going to show you another angle uh, and see how good it is. It's quite fast actually, isn't it? It's probably take about two minutes to burn this uh, image here. I'll show you what it looks like. This image. You can see this one right here. That image there, okay? So it looks something like this. Okay. Now the good thing about this uh, software is that it actually show you where it's scanning right now. So the red is showing you that it's actually scanning already. The black is what it still need to scan. Very very cool. So I know uh, you know how far it's gone. So far it's almost halfway. So I like the way it even tells you the uh, you know the. The uh, X and Y coordinates of the uh, laser. For example, right now the uh, Y is one, uh, 196, 197, so it's going progressively. Whereas the X, X axis is going back and forth, back and forth. You can see here, um, uh, you know, because it's burning, right? And the Y is just moving down slowly. So very good. I actually understand this stuff. I'm not into uh, laser myself, but now I think I'm gonna get more involved. Okay, so here's the final product. It is the wood. I burn on the wood. Both sides. I flipped it over and burn that. And of course here's the plastic. Now I don't recommend doing the plastic. It smells pretty bad. And you can see there's this some um, you know brown spots here. Now for some artists maybe that's a good thing, but you know if you want a clean uh, laser, this may not be the best. But yeah, there it is. <clears throat> now if you're gonna do a plastic, make sure you do it outside where there's a lot of ventilation. Okay, it smells bad. The wood too, the way I can smell the wood, but it's the, the, the smell is not, you know, it's more pleasant than the plastic. Alright, so there it is. Pretty cool. I hope you, uh, you know, get to try it yourself when you purchase your laser engraver. It's around $150 uh, and it goes up from there, right? But I like the portable one.